Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 17th of April and this time I have some news for you regarding Star Wars Battlefront as an interesting report has surfaced and it has given some interesting details. Now, you heard there the word report, which basically means that this information has sort of leaked early and should be taken with a pinch of salt until it has actually been officially confirmed. But to be honest, this seems pretty legit. I'd just like to issue that warning just to be safe. Now, where has the information from this report actually come from, I hear you ask? Well, basically the game's demo was shown off today during a Star Wars celebration, which is actually under an embargo that lifts later on, so do keep your eyes peeled for more information. It included jetpacks, speeders, walkers, and of course, AT-ATs. Now, locations mentioned in the story include Endor, Hoth, Tatooine, and Sullust players who get in enough in-game points will be able to take the role of iconic characters such as, say, Boba Fett and the one and only Darth Vader on the battlefield, according to this particular report. Now, the game will also support TIE Fighter X-Wing and Millennium Falcon dogfights, which sounds pretty damn awesome. Now, I do actually have one 100% confirmed piece of information for you regarding Star Wars Battlefront, and that's going to be female soldiers in the game's multiplayer. Now, on the Rebel side, there of course has been some gender diversity for a while, not exactly new, but Star Wars Re Battlefront will have female stormtroopers, which is something we haven't really seen super loads of, especially not in the films. Now, the stormtroopers are pretty unisex, the armour is pretty unisex, but still, it's a nice inclusion nonetheless, even if it's just a personal preference that does nothing for the game, it does no harm in its being there. And why the hell not, basically? And as well as this, to round things off, we have the release date for Star Wars Battlefront. As I said, not 100% confirmed, but it's pretty much confirmed, I just... Trying to cover just in case this report turns out to be a little bit inaccurate, but I don't see why it would. Anyway, it's going to be released on November the 17th for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and of course the PC. So there you have it. A few tidbits of information to whet your appetites, if you will. As I said, the embargo has pretty much been lifted now, so there will be more information coming soon. So, of course, I will do another video, a little bit of a roundup, if you will, of all the um, revealed information. So do keep your eyes peeled, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.